back at the Haynes Clinic, it's time for a small but lovable creature's checkup. My name is Avery, and I'm bringing my hedgehog, Olivia, to the clinic today. Owning a hedgehog is really fun. They're super cute, and they can get cranky, but when you get used to them, they're super awesome animals. Hi. Hi. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm Michelle. Nice to meet you. I'm Avery. Nice to meet you. I've seen only a handful of hedgehogs here in Alaska and the Yukon. They are still fairly common pets everywhere in North America, even in the North. So she's four years old now. Oh, OK. Has she had any health issues along the way or any problems? She hasn't. No? No. Okay. But it's still good to bring her in and get a check, yeah. as you know, because they age and they can have issues, too. Yeah. So, so is she pretty friendly? She looks like it. Yeah. Olivia is getting to be older. She's already kind of a middle-aged to older hedgehog at four. So you, like, brush her with a toothbrush? Yeah. That's awesome. This little hedgehog is very well cared for. Have you ever noticed her scratching or being itchy at all? Not too much, no. no. Her owner, Avery, has been reading up on the best things to do for her, and she's done an amazing job. So first thing I'm going to do is just try and listen to her heart. So today, she wanted to make sure that she didn't have any bigger health issues, so she's brought her in for an overall checkup. Oh, perfect. She's been feeding her all the right things to keep her in a good body condition, not letting her d get too heavy. OK, so she is 330 grams. Perfect. That's like the <laughs> ideal hedgehog weight. <laughs> the other important thing to do is actually an oral exam. We could even snap a quick x-ray of her so we can kind of do the full okay. physical. OK. One of the more common things that I do see in hedgehogs that come in are either dental disease, like problems with their teeth, or oral tumors or masses. Ooh, can I scratch you? But if you catch them early, you can remove them quickly and help them out and prevent any further disease. Oh, you're oh, angry. She's so huffy and puffy. You're angry. To perform the checkup, Michelle must put Olivia under. But that requires ingenuity. We're going to actually put the anesthesia cone right over her and make like a little chamber. And then once she gets sleepy, then we'll switch it to a mask that we put on her nose. Hi, miss. We're going to put your little face in there. So as soon as she's out, we put her down the table. OK, good stuff. And then get a nice x-ray down so we can see all of her organs. Perfect. And we do a lateral view as well, so we can see, get two views of what's going on in her belly. Perfect. That's just about all we need. I'm going to have a look at her teeth. So you can see that looks totally normal. I'm also looking for any sign of, like, bad tartar or rotten teeth. And actually, her teeth look really good. So now we're just going to give her oxygen. We can bring her little house over. We're going to put you in your little house, all warmed up. Hi. Oh, you're awake. That was quick. 